Let's cut the crap. We are all insanely devastated by the fact that Tenet has been allegedly indefinitely postponed. I mean, Jesus, what could we do? If only there was some simple action to this pandemic that everyone could do that would prevent this virus from spreading and would have allowed us to continue to enjoy our lives and go back to cinemas in reasonable time to continue our feast on the excellent pictures that the Hollywood has to offer. Oh well, the search for such solution continues. Until then, we have to deal with the consequences of the ruthless disease. We all know that indefinite delay is the worst verdict that could be given to a release date. Why? Well, because even the studio doesn't fucking know when they want to release their movie. Or they are scared to tell you because they just can't decide. In any case, it's definitely not a good way to go about a film that you were just about to release. But at least we all understand that you can't cancel a movie, right? It would have to be released sooner or later. So when is it coming? What are the factors that contribute to such decision making and when should we mark the judgment day in our movie calendars? Let's talk about it all and find out right now. I am Mr. Feature and without further ado, let's delve in. Before we start speculating when Tenet could be released, we need to get to the bottom of why this picture was delayed in the first place. Let's take a look at the whole thing from a chronological point of view. Originally, Tenet was supposed to be released on the 17th of July, which would have been the 10th anniversary since Inception hit the theaters. In fact, this was a legit argument that people used to prove that Inception and Tenet are related. What a wild bunch, right? Anyway, this didn't happen apparently because of this thing called coronavirus. Now, I don't know how much you know, but essentially it's one of the most deadliest viruses that exists in the world right now, which is spreading faster than 99% of any illnesses that we have ever known. And basically, apparently, people in America are not wearing masks, and so the number of cases skyrocketed over there back in June, and all the theaters were forced to close. Now, obviously, even if theaters opened up in July in time for Tenet, and they didn't, this wouldn't matter much, as number one, people would be paranoid as fuck to go into the cinema, or worse, they would go to the cinema without wearing any masks or upholding any preventative measures, which would only make the virus situation worse. And two, even if cinemas try to comply with those preventative measures by blocking 50% of the seats in each screening, this would still not nearly make Tenet enough money to break even. Oh yes, apparently the break-even for this movie is around 600-800 millions due to its 240 million budget. This is break-even, guys. We're not talking profit. We're talking just getting the money that you have spent back. That's right. So obviously they had to push initially until 31st of July to maximize the possibility of having more people coming to see the film in cinemas. Well, that didn't work. So then they put it forward even more, all the way to 12th of August. And you know, the virus didn't get any better, but I started to feel like maybe Warner Brothers is thinking, right, let's just hope that the rest of the world will still make us money even if our own people can't fucking wear a mask and do with the pandemic. But then this little country of China, which I don't know if you know, is a communist piece of shit which spread the virus and said, nah guys, fuck you, we only allow movies to be shown in our cinemas if they are two hours or less. Ten had been of course 2.5 hours long, it's no one movie, what did you expect? Anyway, you might say, well, what's the big deal? It's just like 20% of the entire world's population in this country. Well, yes, exactly that fact is shit for Tenet, and also the fact that China was always contributing at least around 25-35% to 35 to the global box office of Nolan Films. If they release Tenet worldwide right now, that would be worse than suicide. And if you're asking what's worse than suicide, well, releasing a movie everywhere by China, that's worse. So, there you go. And then you might ask, but hey, why don't they just extend a standard theater run to make it three times larger and put it in cinemas for half a year instead of the usual 12 weeks? Well, that means paying cinemas more, and then you guessed it, less profit once again. So that is why right now Tenet is officially postponed indefinitely. And yes, some bright individuals watching this will scream at me, but Warner Brothers in Germany confirmed 31st of August the release date. If you can convince me that the virus will go away from US by then and China will allow 2.5 hours long movies to be played, I will acknowledge your genius publicly. Until then, piss off and stop giving me false hopes. And yes, while I was making this video, Warner Brothers announced that they will release Tenet in certain European cities first and then will roll out to America a couple of months later. Though, I do not think that this will hold true, and I will explain why at the end of my video. So, with all that information, we are now left to wonder, what are Warner Brothers' options in terms of releasing Tenet? When and where will we be able to see it? Before we delve into even more details, I just wanted to quickly do something I don't usually do. I want to very kindly and politely ask you, not as not begging, just asking, please, 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 please do subscribe to my channel, but only if you enjoy this video or any of my previous videos. This would immensely help me grow my channel in the ways I have no idea of, 
uh, it just pleases me to see that this community grows and we just care about each other and love each other and probably will never meet each other in person ever but you know those comments online they do make us all happy i hope so i love you guys even though i never saw you or even had a meaningful conversation with any of you but again i love you unconditionally just trust me so hit that button and know that you hold the power of thanos by doing that Anyway, back to tennis release date. I have 47 potential scenarios here, and so let's begin with... Nah, I'm just kidding, relax. I only have about three or four, well, maybe six. But in any case, I'm gonna go from the least likely to the most likely scenario, so be prepared to be gradually disappointed while you watch this video. Scenario number one, they will drop it on HBO Max in August. I would literally give away one of my testicles to see this movie on HBO Max in August, but I just don't think Warner Brothers would know what to do with it. Look, do I even need to explain why this would be suicide for Warner Brothers? Okay, as per some random source on Google, HBO Max has 4.1 million users. Even if they did charge $20 for this movie, hell, make it $40, that means they could earn $160 million if every single user watched Tenet. That's nothing. No matter how you release it, it just won't make enough money. Even if you released it on all streaming services and then charge $40 per user for this movie alone, they still wouldn't hit $500 million. So clearly this is a completely and absolutely hopeless case. Though I would say that they will be dropping Tenet very soon on HBO Max after its CFA release, maybe for a small additional access fee or whatever. I can't really explain why, I just have a feeling they would. Although this won't make much sense because people just want to see in the cinemas then. You know what, scrub that. Tenet will come to HBO Max no sooner than in 2030. There, done with this one. What's next? Scenario number two. They will release it in all theaters, ignoring China, in August. This is borderline stupid with HBO Max option. Not only they will instantly lose 30% of potential earnings from the box office because of lack of China, but no one will fucking go to the cinema to watch it. The pandemic is literally not even dropping in its spreading rates, so it literally like 5 people in the world will go to see it in the cinema, or whatever the number of Nolan's family members are, unless they create some very clever rules and make a long theatre run of over at least half a year or something, making some sort of a deal with cinemas, there is no way that this is happening. But one can hope, of course. Scenario number three. They will wait for China and then we'll release it everywhere, complying with measures. This is where we start to see some rationality in logic. If China actually allows to play Tenet, and if all the cinemas in the world will introduce social distance measures, and if Warner Brothers will find a way to extend their theatrical run, then I believe they could actually not only break even, but make some money on top and maybe even hit around 900 million mark. Think about it this way say that there will be only every third seat available at the cinema. This means that you have to make more screenings per day, which shouldn't be a problem as not many movies are being released right now anyway, and you have to at least double your theatrical run. In fact, I believe that not many new movies of such quality are coming out, and because people are tired shitless of sitting at home doing nothing, it could motivate us to go and see this movie, despite all the dangers of the virus. There is still a lot of risks, of course, as by the time China allows for Tenet to screen, virus is unlikely to disappear. And I know that some people won't comply with those measures, like for example take their masks off during the screening. But still, I would give this like a solid 35-40% chance of happening, it just all depends on how well they can organize all of the things I just mentioned. Scenario number 4. They will release the movie once the pandemic is completely under control everywhere. You thought this would be my most likely scenario for release of Tenet, didn't you? Well, actually no. While it is definitely the safest option in terms of people's health, movie studios clearly don't give a shit about that. They only need our money. So again, while releasing Tenet when pandemic is technically over would be the easiest thing. There are two big problems though that would prevent the movie from making loads of money. Number one, no one will fucking care about it by then. Look, let's be realistic, pandemic won't be over for at least another year or so, probably more. In fact, I'm guessing that the year 2023 or 2024 is where we will be able to start shaking hands and making out with random people on the streets again. Until then, we'll live in fear and paranoia. But yes, no one will care about Tenet by then. Think about it this way, 80% of the people who see Nolan movies are not Nolan fans. They just like blockbusters, action movies, with smart plots and excellent execution. And obviously excellent actors. But when Tenet was announced, literally no one, except hardcore Nolan fans, cared about Tenet. It is only when the trailers were released that people started talking about it. And now that we saw two full trailers, two teasers and a very long prologue clip from the movie, what are they gonna do to promote it in three years time? Show us the same trailers again? Well that won't work, it just won't get people excited. Show more trailers? Well, they would have to do a whole new marketing campaign, which is not only extra expenses, like a lot, trust me, but also spoiling the shit out of the movie. I just didn't see it happening because they won't get people excited again. 
And the reason number two is that studios have schedules. They spend money to make money, and then they spend the money they made to spend more money to make more money. You get the idea. So I can imagine that from Tennis earnings, Warner Brothers was expecting to invest those precious millions into other projects. What will they do now? Put those projects on hold for half a decade? Nah, no way. It's not happening. They will release this movie in the next two years and it's a fact. The question remains though, which year is it gonna be? Scenario number five. They will release the movie in the summer 2022. The thing is, if everything goes reasonably well with the containment of this global pandemic, we might be able to go back to cinemas in the summer of 2022, with almost as many people pre-screening as before pandemic. Plus, this is not as far back as the year 2023 or 2024, which gives us more hope that people will still care about Tenet and will still want to go and see it in the cinema. China will most definitely drop their 2.5 hours rule by then, at least there is much better chance it would do so, rather than this or next year, and such a two-year delay should not impact Warner Brothers much in terms of their budgeting of projects ahead. However, there is one problem which is also the reason why I'm putting this scenario at the second place. You see, while it may seem that it's a safer option for audiences to release this movie a couple years later, as the virus will probably subside, there's absolutely no guarantee that that would happen. It's a risk which is practically impossible to calculate, as we do not know how the people will behave in terms of following social preventative measures, how the virus will evolve, what other potential medical threats could arise. But Warner Brothers do know the risks of releasing Tenet this year. So even though it might seem logical to bet on making more money if you release this movie in a couple of years, it is by all means a much more riskier thing to do because you don't have any solid proof that the situation will be better, not even a good odds of that happening. So one might think, you know what, let's just release this movie in the fall this year. Yes, we will lose some money, but at least we won't risk it even more by waiting another two years. Problem solved, right? Well, not quite. This is where we finally arrive to the most likely scenario for Tennis release, and that is they will release this movie summer of 2021. I am almost fully certain that this is going to be the case. Again, we do not know if the situation will become much better or even worse by then, but here is what we do know. Number one, by next year, the world would have gotten used to the pandemic enough to implement the required measures for social activities such as cinemas, for example. By then, no matter what happens to the virus, compulsory systems will protect people from the virus itself. Number two, one year push is not a long enough period for people to lose excitement in Tenet. Sure, some will, but most of those who don't even care about Nolan movies will still remember that this amazing blockbuster is coming out and in light of nothing else coming out in cinemas, Tenet would be the most popular movie for a while. This will work for marketing campaign too. Look, Batman vs Superman literally dropped their first trailer a whole year before the movie was released. So I reckon Warner Brothers could maybe serve up the previously released trailers early spring 2021 with a final new trailer and a couple of small TV spots dropping closer to the release date itself. And not to mention that there will be barely any repercussions on other projects because 12 months delay again is almost normal in Hollywood to be honest. But most importantly, I doubt that the risk of releasing the movie next year is at all worse than releasing it in the next couple of months, for all of the reasons I just mentioned above. So, in the end, I think if you want to play it safe and avoid any false hopes and disappointments, prepare for the summer 2021 release date. Of course, the movie could be coming well before or after that, as it's not up to us. But if it was up to me, I would have released it straight away. Not about money. It's about sending a message. And yes, I said at the beginning of this video, I highly doubt that the current strategy of Warner Brothers to release this movie in over 70 countries in August and the US and China later in the year will uphold. Why? Well, for one, this movie will become number one pirated movie of all time. Do you know how easy it is to both leak and download movies from the internet? This will result in a massive loss for the studio as people would easily choose poor quality but free experience over paying 20 bucks to go to the cinema and risk your life by getting sick. Number two, the virus in Europe is not doing that well either. Trust me, I am here. In fact, most of the European countries are currently preparing for a second wave, which is coming around September and October and is forecasted to be even worse than the first wave at its peak. So yeah, in the next four weeks, a lot of things can happen and I just do not believe in this extremely optimistic scenario that Warner Brothers is trying to sell. But hey, I am so fucking hoping that I am wrong. But let's get to the most important question in this video. When do you think Tenet is going to be released? Is it coming next week? 
next month, next century, will someone manage to lick it online? Gotta hope so. Share your opinions down below and let's talk about it all. For now, I want to thank you for watching this video and hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please kindly do leave a like and subscribe as we have tons of interesting movies like Tenet to talk about. Thanks again and I see you in the next one.